Hello traders, FX Pep Collector here. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly, I still think this first move up is a wave A. It does look like it needs to go down to make a wave B and then eventually back up for a wave C. I still think there's a good likelihood this whole move is going to be a correction to this last move down, probably bounce off a of Fibonacci level after making three waves up and make another attempt to continue the downtrend. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame is where you can start to see the higher highs, higher lows that make up this wave A. This move down looks like it should be part of an A, B, C correction like that. A, B, C, or B, which I would think would at least go down to one of these lower Fibonacci levels before it actually heads back up and makes that wave C, A, B, of C, which should be a correction to this whole last move down, just like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame, now on the daily, this move down to me definitely looks like it could end up being a trend. If it is a trend, then this move up should be a crutchen. and like it should turn at one of these Fibonacci levels and end up continuing down like the pattern I was showing on the weekly time frame. Now we do have to realize that this move up is very strong. It almost looks too strong to be a way B. There's always a possibility that today's CPI news is going to cause this to just continue the uptrend and it's going to end up looking something like that. But but I still think that it's more likely that it will end up making a pattern like this and then end up going down to make that ABC of way B like I was showing on the weekly and monthly time frames. So let's take it down to the four hour time frame. Now on the four hour time frame, this whole move down is messy, so that's why it does look like it could possibly be a Kretzen, and this move up actually could be the end of a Kretzen, and price very easily could just keep on going up. Now let's just stick to the original analysis, we just need to keep that in mind because it is a very good possibility, but the original analysis says that this is a wave A, and that this is going to go down and make a wave B, and then eventually back up and make a wave C of wave B, which would end up being a Kretzen to this last move down before it actually ended up continuing the downtrend trend like I was showing on the longer time frames like the daily and weekly time frame. So let's take it right down to the one hour time frame. Now on the one hour time frame what's important to see is that this is all higher lows the whole way up. We definitely do not have any struts at break. We do not have any reason yet to think this wave A is over. And it kind of looks like this could be a wave 4 and it may go up one more time to make a wave 5. Then once that wave 5 is complete it seems like the news, the CPI news that's coming out should cause this to go down and start a correction which would be like a wave B. And then probably a few days from now it would go back up and make that wave C of wave B just like the pattern and I was showing on the 4 hour and daily time frame. So it definitely looks like we need to make a wave 5 before we go down and make a wave B, but we do have really big CPI news today. There's always a possibility the trend could just keep on going up, but I predict that this is going to go up at the news and then it's going to start drifting down and then for the rest of the day it's going to work its way down to start this ABC of wave B. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel, the link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.